Okay, we're looking at um, Phantom SDR here, which is a, a piece of software uh, for remote access in SDRs over the uh, web, similar to OpenWebRx, uh, Kiwi SDR, and um, it's quite reminiscent of the software used at the 20 SDR. This one is run by HB9RYZ. Uh, seems to be in a good location up in the Swiss Alps and um, we're just looking at the top end of medium wave at the moment um, some very interesting signals uh, there Okay, I really think that this SDR is in a, a very good location. Now, I've only recently become aware of um, Phantom SDR. And um, I'm just still familiarising myself with the controls. But I'll just run through some of the controls for you. So obviously we've got the spectru spectrum display up here and the waterfall that we're familiar with. And we can tune by uh, clicking on the spectrum or the waterfall to uh, the signal of our choice. Uh, down here we can zoom out or zoom in using these controls. Now I think the receiver at HB9RYZ station is um, one of these RX 888s which um, allows you to see the whole of the HF spectrum. We'll zoom right out. Um, just there we are okay and we can see that we've got pretty much the whole of the spectrum in view here okay 5 mega uh, 5 megahertz 10 15 20 25 and 30 down to zero here we can actually input a frequency if we want uh, in the frequency box and hit the enter key and go straight there this particular receiver, now not all of the Phantom SDR setups have this, but this has band buttons. So we've got broadcast and amateur bands there. We can go straight to those particular bands and then start tuning within them. We can tune up and down 5 kilohertz steps, 1 kilohertz or 100 hertz. We can also set default uh, tuning steps here. We've got uh, our audio control of course, squelch, filter bandwidths and then preset uh, filters. So for example we can select a 10 kHz filter that's reflected up here under the frequency display but we can go down to 9, 8, 7, 6 and so on using the minus 1000 or plus 1000 button. Got some audio filters here, noise reduction, noise blanker, um, AN, I'm not sure what that is, and CTCSS. Got some memories, and back up to the display. So that's Phantom SDR, and here's where we find the Phantom SDRs that are online listed. Um, you can see here that we've got 19 active receivers with 81 users. Covering 415 megahertz of spectrum. 
and uh, we've got the various uh, uh, SDRs here's one here in Russia so here's one in the US Athens HB9RYZ I've just shown you so there's various ones here 9A7OF one in Greece one in Australia okay so quite a selection I think most of them are using these RX888 Mark IIs Let's just go into uh, this one. And maybe that one's not going to connect. Let's try another one. Let's try this. Uh, let's try this Greek one. Here we go. So, just hit that. Let's try putting a frequency in here. It's not going to work. Um, Let's try tuning up. Oh, I don't think this one covers the whole uh, spectrum. Let's go into 49 meters with it. And uh, it's in AM mode. Got um, analog S meter here on this one as well. Quite unusually. Let's see if we can get... Uh, station so you can hear what we're receiving so as you can see the layout of this one's a little bit different from the Swiss one um, controls are slightly differently laid out we've got the audio controls over here we haven't we've got um, some bands here but not the same range as we had with the HB 9 RYZ one so each one of these is slightly different we've got to 75 meters that's channel 292 let's go up a bit um, seems that this receiver is not in quite such a quiet uh, location as the other one uh, we don't have well we do have a medium wave band let's have a look at the medium wave band okay so we've got a pirate there so this one is SV3YY it looks like the top end of coverage on this one is uh, 40 meters as you can see or 41 meters broadcast band and again this is similar to the uh, Kiwi uh, SDR uh, setup but we've got a map here of the Phantom SDRs as you can see there's not that many of them at the moment um, we've got a couple over uh, in the US, what, four there. And then we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen dotted around Europe and in the UK, incidentally. Um, but that does give you an idea. Now, again, using the map, you can click on um, one of these locations. Um, for example, um, that's Finland, isn't it? So. Uh, we can again using um, RX triple eight, and uh, we can connect hopefully to the SDR. That one's looks like it's not going to work. So we we'll go back. Um, one in Russia here. Let's see if we can connect to that one. That one's going to work. Uh, we don't need a tutorial. So here's where you can find some more information on um, Phantom SDR. It's on GitHub. And uh, we've got some setup instructions. I think they recommend that you use a, a Linux uh, operating system. Well, there is a Windows version of this, which uh, I might look at. Um, got a brief description of the features. You can have up to 100 users on a good setup. Um, and high sample rate SDRs can be handled and um, 
It's an example here of a screenshot with an RX triple eight SDR. So got Ubuntu, Fedora, so Linux, but there is, as I say, there is a Windows um, uh, version. I think if we click here, okay, we've got a Windows zip file that can be uh, downloaded. So um, it's interesting. You would need, of course, um, a suitable SDR receiver. And um, that is the, I'm not a robot, thank you. That is the RX triple eight. See it's on AliExpress there, which gives you a uh, 32 megahertz bandwidth, I think. And that seems to be what most of the uh, remote stations are using. So I hope you found that interesting. Quick look at Phantom ST. I think there'll be some more on this set in the future. Well, I might have a go at um, setting one of these up myself. But in the meantime, thank you for watching.